stay close. Joel? I'm coming. and welcome to the arcade. I'm your host Superbomb and this is Life Changing Video Games. On this channel we search far and wide for the world's coolest games. Join us for card games like Marvel Snap because we're always cooking up fun new decks. My chat got me to Legends of Ruin Terra this season and we climbed all the way to Masters. We've been diving into season two of the finals, a fantastic FPS that's free to play. We've been generating some absolutely unreal highlights like this. That was sick. That was amazing! Each week, we have a rotating list of games we incorporate, like Balloons TV6, Fallout, Fortnite, Dead by Daylight, Vampire Survivors, and much more. Do you have a game recommendation for us? Send me your suggestions over Discord. I'm on Twitch and YouTube Live between Sunday and Thursday, so make sure you have your notifications turned on. I'm often joined by my two furry dogs, Milo and Misa. They're great gaming buddies because they're basically just two big couch potatoes. Click the follow button now to unlock custom emotes for free on Twitch. Or, if you'd like to support the channel with a Prime or Tier 1 subscription, you'll get these extra animated emotes on the house. Pretty sweet, huh? Don't forget, just by watching, you'll acquire tokens to use on Twitch rewards that let you engage with my stream in real time. <laughs> there we go. We dropped the Falcon Punch there. Not sure. Hey, we got LOR Swamp in the building. Oh, behave. <laughs> I often play my viewers in friendly battles, so don't be afraid to join in. We can also team up together and build a squad. So what are you waiting for? Grab your tokens and let's go. We got some gaming to do. What is up legends and welcome back to the stream. I'm your host Super Bob and this is Life Changing Video Games. Welcome in guys. guys. The week has arrived, the week I've been waiting for all month, War Machine is up for grabs, and we got not one, but two spotlight keys. We're gonna grab this card today, guys. I got a good feeling. This is the card, War Machine, that we're trying to pick up. It is a 4-6 on reveal. Until the end of the next turn, nothing can stop you from playing cards anywhere. Now think about this, guys. Kind of like Jeff, right? You know, Jeff, you can move cards uh, even into Professor X. Nothing can stop him from moving. This is essentially Jeff, but for all the cards you're gonna play uh, until the next turn. So, I don't know about you guys, but that seems like a pretty good card to me, <laughs> personally. Um, so we're gonna go for it. We got two spotlight keys here. I actually don't have Silk. I do have Silver Samurai, so I'm hoping not to get him. Although I will say that's a pretty cool variant. But uh, we got two spotlight keys here, guys. Let's see what happens. Ah. Okay, that was probably worst case scenario here, but okay, we got a new avatar. All right, I guess you get some stuff. All right, War Machine, here we go. War Machine. Okay. 
What? What? Already owned? Yes, convert. What the? F oh my god. What? A oh my god, dude. Seriously? We used two spotlight keys. We didn't get a new card. Uh, terrible, man. Terrible. I was I was coming into this stream so optimistic that we we're gonna get War Machine. We had two spotlight keys. We got Noel, who we already have, and we got this variant. Ah, uh, they really gotta fix the spotlight system. And I, the thing is, ah, uh, here's what's so disappointing, guys. I literally built this deck to play with War Machine today. Uh, I really thought two spotlight keys would do it, if I'm being totally honest. I really thought two spotlight keys would be enough. That's super disappointing. Super, super disappointing. Uh, okay. Well, how far are we from a new spot like he? Not super far. Theoretically, we could get there today, but man, that uh, that really is killer. We used two spotlight keys and we got nothing. We got nothing. Uh. Okay. Not the way I wanted to start the stream, to be honest, but it is what it is, as they say. We're gonna go here with uh, Jaw Dropper, I guess. I was really hoping to play War Machine, but uh, I guess two spotlight keys are just not gonna be enough. Kind of a bummer. Okay, Thor, we should be able to get up to 10. So let's play him here. Face the might of Asgard, Mjolnir! Uh, Silk seems very dangerous. Hi there. Could also go here. So win there. They play first. Opponent snapped. Snap. Trigger Molnir, She Hulk. We win middle. 
I think that looks like a win to me. That's a win. Eight cubes, let's go. Woo! <laughs> What's up, Jerush? Welcome in, man. Good to have you in the chat with us. Uh, we are starting the day with an eight cube win. That gets us to 88. Um, so not a bad way to start the day. I will say, I am a little disappointed. I used two spotlight keys this morning, trying to get, uh, trying to get War Machine, and at first, I got the Silver Samurai variant, which, okay, yeah, whatever. But as my second spotlight, I got Null, who I already had. And, yeah, I really want War Machine. And so I used my second spotlight here. I got Null. I converted it into, like, a thousand tokens. But, man, I was so bummed, dude. I, like, how many... Like, you shouldn't have to use... I really feel like the spotlight key... Yeah, yeah. I feel like the spotlight key, you should be able to pick. You should be able to pick from what's in the in the category there. You should be able to say, I want this card, I want this variant. I feel like you the spotlight key should let you pick. Yeah, I don't have silk. I, yeah, so that's one card for like a move deck uh, that I'm definitely missing. But I really feel like they should, yeah, would be busted, I know, right? Uh but yeah, dude, Sag, Sag is right. <laughs> Sag is right. Two, okay. Two infinites. Face the might of Asgard. Mjolnir. Yeah, I have to manage your resources. Yeah, it's it's just tough because I feel like I, I feel like I played it I feel like I played everything pretty good. It just didn't work out. Not great. Hello, hello. <laughs> All right, I guess we'll go infinite here. Uh, two cubes is fine. I don't feel super confident here. Vision can move. Hello, so happy. Oh no, really? Oh, so annoying. Okay. <laughs> uh, you don't have to pull every week. That's true. Um, I and honestly, I saved my two spotlight keys last week, so. I saved it for this week. I saved it for specifically for uh, for War Machine. So I'm yeah I'm bummed about that. So yeah I did. I, I actually I skipped last week. I didn't want Cannonball, and I was hoping this week to get War Machine. We still might. I'm like within reach of a um, I'm within reach of a Spotlight Key. We might be able to get to it today. If I get it, I'm definitely gonna pull the trigger on it. But whether or not we will actually get there, TBD. Yeah, save spotlight caches, and I never open when I don't have at least four keys. Oh, really? At least four. But that seems so excessive. I don't know, like, I feel like if you buy the battle pass, you should be able to basically acquire the cards that you need. And not like, not the variants and everything and, and all the skins and custom stuff that comes with it. 
But I feel like you should be able to get just like the basic cards, you know? Don't really want to rock, but that's fine. Oh, you, you don't buy the pass. Interesting. Well, how do you get so many? If you don't buy the pass, how do you buy? How do you get so many keys? That's interesting. I feel like the pass is the best way to get to get um, credits and stuff. He's definitely not going to Galactus on us. So she hulks a 10. We get another two with the uh, Sunspot here. Oh, you play every day. Have one key... Oh, okay. You have one key every five days. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, see, I definitely don't play every day. I play probably like two to three times a week, I would say. All right, they're going to ramp uh, War Machine. Okay. Final turn. here. Maybe they can play the Shang-Chi. Dude, this is why I want this card. Nothing can stop you from playing, right? Although, they played it into Cosmo, and this is an on reveal. So never mind. Hmm. Well, that's not great. Okay. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, infinite ebony maw. Oh my gosh. There's so many things that you can do. Yeah, no animation to stop Co Yeah, exactly. So Cosmo is the one thing that will prevent War Machine from popping off there. Because otherwise, yeah, you see the animation basically in the three lanes. It kind of makes these like three uh, orange rectangles. Oh, is that true? War Machine doesn't let you Shang-Chi through Cosmo. Is that is that confirmed? Oh, man. See, I, I would have thought you could bypass it, but I guess not. You, you can't War Machine... Uh, well, that's true. War Machine doesn't let you Shang-Chi through. But if you played the War Machine first, and it wasn't and it wasn't in an, it wasn't in the Cosmo lane, could he have played the Shang-Chi? I think so. Am I wrong? Am I wrong about that? Let you oh it lets you play cards anywhere, but but it doesn't get around Cosmo. I see. That's a that's a little tricky. Oh boy. 
Mr. Negative, eh? Alright, he probably was gonna... Cosmo doesn't stop you from playing Shang-Chi, but the effect of Shang-Chi doesn't go off no matter what. Oh. Interesting. Okay. I, I gotta get- I kinda have to get my head around that. But I- I hear you. Okay, wow. I could not believe he high rolled so I hard am. on Iron Mr. Man. Negative here. <sighs> Iron so Man. annoying. He high rolled so hard on Mr. Negative. That's so annoying, man. <sighs> Dude, he literally... I, I swear, I have the worst luck in Marvel Snap. Whenever I play Mr. Negative, we end up, like, flipping the worst cards. We'll flip, like, Ravona. This dude flips Iron Man. Escape. Come on. Uh, where is the justice in this world? <laughs> yeah, why? Why? Exactly. He, he did Mystique, which is an honor reveal. I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. I guess I forgot about it, right? <laughs> oh my god. This guy's name is sub to my mom's OnlyFans. <laughs> Look at this guy's name. Oh my god. Alright, no Deadpool. X23. No Cosmo. Well, at least we can armor everything up. I guess that's something here. Yeah, they ran. Okay. Victory. Uh, thank you very much for the cube. Yeah, when you can play into into um, to Cosmo, there's an animation, right? Like I've I've seen it. It's like basically each lane gets a orange border, kind of like an orange rectangular border that surrounds it. So you can tell when when you get War Machine off, it's very apparent. It's very apparent. I have a feeling this is in the uh, destroy deck here, so if it's a destroy deck, we're just going to try and use armor and Cosmo, and between Nowhere, Utopia, and whatever... Oh man, they ran. Okay. Victory. That's fine. Uh, I talk about blue circle around Cosmo. Oh, there's a blue circle around Cosmo. Oh, interesting. I have to look out for that. It, it, that's just like an indicator that Cosmo's in play. Okay, I'll have to... Yeah, I hate the demon effect. Yeah, getting a 1-6 getting a like right off the bat like that is pretty good. 
Another destroy deck here. Uh, after you play your next card, destroy it and draw two cards. All right, Lockjaw's in play. Oh, but not for destroy deck. So this looks like some kind of move deck. They just played Vulture. Opponent snapped. Yeah, I'm thinking Phoenix too. Iron Fist, Phoenix for Vulture. So that I get a plus three. All right, we can play um, Wasp into Lockjaw here. Drop the She-Hulk. The problem is they can only win so many lanes, though. <laughs> Unless they have Tribunal or something. I just don't know where everything's gonna land. We either pull Cosmo, Thor, or Scar. Probably Heimdall here. Yeah, you're cooked. Well, Dagger would trigger, but she only hits two cards, so she would be like a a six, right? Oh, jeez, she got buffed. A plus three, dang. Dagger got buffed, huh? I think she used to be a plus two, right? Plus three is a lot. But that's only a six. Uh, I, I still think we win. We float one energy. Lockjaw comes into play here. I'm gonna play it. Dagger. Oof. Oh. Are you kidding me? He's got a Shang-Chi in here too. Oh my god. Really? Ugh, really? Yeah, worst Magneto of all time. <laughs> Yo, really? It really was. We literally pulled. Oh, that was brutal. That was just, I don't know. That's been my luck. That's been my luck all season. Um, I got, as soon as I hit, like, level 90, this has been every day I've played Snap this month. It's just been the most unfortunate RNG <laughs> of all time. And matchups. <laughs> Alright. I could save it for Lockjaw. Maybe I should. Alright, I'll save it for Lockjaw. room.
Uh, Bifrost is going to move everything. So I think we can do that. Yeah, exactly. Left is so good. I'm putting I'm putting She-Hulk down first. Because Danger Room is kind of hard to access. But yes, Lockjaw here is very nice. We either get Scar Magneto or Infinite. Hopefully. Or armor. Dude, my RNG today is terrible. My RNG today is just absolutely terrible. That's gonna get swapped. We gotta do this and then this. <sighs> okay, well, that's fine. All right, beautiful. <laughs> yeah, Orca. Victory. Exactly. But that, I had to be careful there because. If I had played Orca first, Orca was going to get swapped out. So the, the order mattered. But yeah, Orca, Orca getting big there for us. Alright guys. Two more cubes. <laughs> is, that, is that a Batman uh, emote? I like that. It's like an like a animated... It looks like a... Kind of like those chibi pop toys. I like that one. <laughs> okay. I do like this new location. That's pretty fun. Utopia. It's been a nice addition. Ooh. Now we're in business. Now we are definitely in business here. Oh, yeah, Lockjaw into Jin. We might just skip the next turn at- oh, that's a little annoying. Bruh. Literally, I could have pulled Jane, Orca, Scar, or Thor. And that's what we get. Bruh. Bruh. Come on. I'm gonna float, <laughs> float six energy here. I might regret it because they're probably gonna play Hobgoblin. So maybe I, yeah, maybe I don't do that. Maybe I do this instead. I'll do this.
what a mess, man. What a freaking mess. It's a nihilist, of course. Of course. Dude, what a dumb location. Okay. That's fine. Hey, a pinty. Keep up the work, bro. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome in. Uh, this is just so frustrating because he gets around quantum here with sentry. This doesn't get set to two. He throws it our direction. Anything we play here is set to two. Uh, we just got really unlucky here pulling Thor because we could have pulled Scar, Jane, Orca. There's so many cards we could have pulled that would have won us the game here. So it's just, dude, our luck is just really, Escape. our luck is just really bad right now. Like, it's just like, when you flip cards in and out, that's all RNG. And the RNG is just killing us today. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, skip turn five for infinite She-Hulk turn six. But the problem was quantum. Yeah, that's the problem, Jerush. Is this, it's just like quantum kills us there. Because there's no way around it. If Lockjaw had pulled a better card, we won. Easily. But we we just... Uh, we didn't get it. We didn't get it. So it's pretty frustrating, but... It is what it is. This is definitely looking like a some kind of discard, maybe Hella deck. I'm not sure. We got the Colleen here. Give us something good, please. Ah, I'll take it. That's fine. I'll take it. <sighs> okay. Okay, Wasp, and then Jane. Not Infinite, not She-Hulk, we get the Sunspot. Really? Really? I have the worst luck of all time. I have the worst luck of all time. I really do. <sighs> Collector's probably gonna get, well, they're probably disc, uh, I don't know. Yeah. 
Union to me. Uh, we win by like two points. Victory. Wow. Super close here. Came down to point totals. We tied it at uh, Vibranium. They were up by one at DC. We were up by three at Utopia. Real close game there. Oh boy. All right, guys, let's do some upgrading here. We might be able to get War Machine if we play our cards right. Let's go to Collection. Let's sort by Upgrade Ability. Gambit moves this a little bit, but here's the spotlight key, so it's not super far. Uh, how many cards am I missing? Um, a decent amount. Here, let me, I can sort by quality, maybe? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, six times one, two, three, four, um, 24, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm missing 28, oh, sorry. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I guess I'm missing 30, 31 cards. 31 total. 31. Yeah, these are the ones I'm missing. Jean Grey, Hitmonkey, Loki, Corvus Glaive, Eliath, Beta Ray Build, Darkhawk, Grandmaster. There's so many spotlights that I just went for that I just completely got nothing. Got nothing. I went for Blob. Nothing. I went for Kyera. Nothing. <laughs> I went for Grandmaster. Nothing. I went for Corvus. Nothing. <laughs> so, I don't know, man. I just have really bad luck with um, some of the spotlights. It is what it is, but it's a bummer, dude. It's a bummer. Uh, every time I go for the spotlights, I get the worst luck. I get... I have to convert it into something else. I have to... It makes me question, honestly, whether I want to keep buying the Battle Pass, if I'm being totally honest. Because I feel like you... Break. I don't know. I feel like you deserve better. Yeah, you got him on your third spotlight key. Yeah. I've used two already on um, War Machine. So I'm hoping that the third spotlight key would do it. But the thing that annoys me the most is I I can get I can understand. Like if you don't get if you get the variant instead of like the card. I do think you should be able to pick whether you get the card or the variant. But okay. But the thing that really annoys me is when you get something totally random. They ended up giving me Null, who I've had for like four seasons, and then I converted it into like a thousand tokens. Like, it's not the same. It's not the same as getting a card for like 3,000 tokens or 6,000 tokens. I just feel like that's such a, ugh, that's such an annoying thing that they do with the spotlight cash. They should just like let you pick what you want. You saved up for the key. You can use it to unlock whatever you want. I don't know. Power to the players, man. Power to the players. That's that's my whole philosophy. Power to the players. 3D. All right, we got some more credits. Okay, and you can see the spotlight key right there. So, 
Oh man, we'll see how far we can take this. Black Widow. Oh, you think you think a thousand tokens is better than some variants? I guess, yeah. I guess if you're willing to like save up, you got Nimrod in the old system and uh, uh, it, it, get it three times in this. Yeah, spotlight caches, dude. Tell me about it. That's the story of my life. <laughs> but yeah, I'm right there with you, man. Okay, let's upgrade all the greens first. We'll go from rare to 3D. We're gonna be a little short, but by the end of today, we might be able to get there. We might be able to get there. Okay. All right, guys, that's all we can do for now. But we got a couple here. If we get some more credits, we've got at least a few more things to upgrade. But for now, I guess we'll just keep it rolling. Yeah, but so that you got the Nimrod from the from the first Spotlight Caches. And it turns into Jessica Jones variant. Oh man. Yeah, exactly. I that's that's why again I say power to the players. Power to the players. Let players pick what they should be able to get from the spotlight caches. I, I think it's crazy that it's just totally random. Maybe you, maybe you get the card you want, maybe you get the variant you want, or maybe it's something totally random. Like, no man, just just get let people pick. Let people pick it, <laughs> you know? That's how I feel. I, I think that's, I think it's just, I think it's crazy, dude. I think it's crazy the way they, they treat players. Okay, so we'll have another five cost here. Okay. Union to me. I am Iron Man. What? <sighs> I have the worst luck of all time. I literally have the worst luck of all time. Dude, I, I literally have the worst luck of all time. That that proves it right there. <laughs> mm. 
That proves it. All right. We do have a few more credits. Why don't we go back to collection here? We sorted by upgrade ability. Ooh, Psylocke here. Okay. Frame break. Three D. Okay. Um. a little closer. Another 50 credits here. Okay. Armor. Frame break. Okay. All right, dagger here, 25. Thanos boosters, all right, we need, we're so close to the spotlight key, guys. We're so close. I'm gonna go with the cheap stuff for now. That might be able to get us there. I know. We need basically two more Frame break. Uh, uncommon to rare upgrades. Silver Samurai, we can upgrade. Frame break. Electro. All right, wow. We got one more spotlight key, guys. So guys, this is my third, my third spotlight key today. My third one. I really want War Machine. I really, really want to get War Machine here. Let's see what we get. Yes! Okay, finally, guys! Yes! <laughs> Alright, so Jerush, I think you called it, man. Hey, Benetel, what's up, man? Welcome in, welcome in. Ah, uh, so it took three spotlight keys, guys, but we finally, finally did it. I think it's time to uh, stick in a <laughs> war machine here. He's a 4 6. Oh, buddy. Alright. So guys, let me know, what, what sort of decks were you thinking of? This is the deck I came up with. I was thinking about this earlier today, and I was like, what makes the most sense, right? Um, I think what I, what I had in mind was we could, put, we could give ourselves a little bit of lockdown, but if we happen to lose it, we could always try to get it back with uh, you know, something like War Machine. That's one thing I had in mind. Um, the other route we could go with it is try to discount with like Ravona. Ravona, I think, would would uh, discount Professor X a little bit. Oh, Infinite! Yes, that's a fantastic idea. So I guess the question is, who should come out, right? Um, here, here's my thought process, guys. We have an ongoing counter with Rogue. And we have Shang-Chi, although Shang-Chi could go. Um, but those, you know, Shang-Chi was our counter for maybe like a, a big destroy deck or something. Um, yeah, so that's the thought process there. A little bit of lockdown. 
I do, I really do like Infinite. I think that Hope Summer's Infinite, Ebony Maw, Ebony Maw, genius. Oh, you guys are so smart. You guys are so smart. Okay, so yeah, let's go with Inf Infinite first. I like that. So Infinite first. Um, and then... Hope Summers, that's interesting. Ebony Maw. I think the Ebony Maw has definitely got to go in. Let's take out Thor for now. Hope Summers. Summers. Wait. Oh, that's a good idea. I like that a lot, Jerush. Yeah, I like that a lot. So, I gotta take out one person then. We don't have a lot of. We have a couple four cost cards. Zabu still might be worth it. Um. <sighs> Professor X, I could take or leave. The Wong could probably go. You would need Ravona, right? Exactly. That's a good. That's a good. Yeah. So I guess that's a. We can either go the discount route. Discount route would be if we went Ravona, Zabu. Um, but if we don't go discount, the other route would be Hope Summers, like you mentioned. I'm not sure what is. What's better? Hey, what's up, Street Sharks? Welcome in, man. Good to have you with us. Um, but that's a good point. Yeah, so either you can go the discount route or you can go the ramp route with, uh, with Summer Hope. Personally, I kind of think Ravona's better. Although, she, only, she discounts Arnim Zola. She discounts Professor X. Those are the two, right? I kind of think that's more worth it, though. Let's try that for now, and then we can always readjust. So yeah, guys, I think we're going to give this a try. I'm calling this War Tactics. Uh, it's our, our our first attempt at using War Machine here. Why don't we first take it into Conquest? We'll give it a try. We'll just take it into like... Oh, you know what? I have... Guys, I do have some Infinity Tickets here. Why don't we start with using this Gold Ticket? And we'll give it a try. But here we go. Our first attempt here... To use War Machine, we're craving a Glavin. <laughs> okay, a little unfortunate. Okay. Couldn't have drawn that card one turn earlier. Great. You know, one, one card worth considering, too, is uh, Mobius. I feel like Mobius is really good.
Yo, check this out, guys. We're gonna go War Machine. Split the- Wow, well, we could also just split Black Panther. Iron Lad might do it, too. He could pull Professor X here, Odin, Infinite. Kind of hoping that we get a uh, a lockdown here with with Iron Lad. Mm, Infinite. Go. We could just knock out the Noel with Shang Chi. I could also steal the ongoing here. In case we end up tying. I kind of feel like they play death. Kind of feel like they play death here. Cut off one head, two more. All right, I should have played the Shang Chi. Wow, really, really. I... That's fine. The crazy thing too is I, I was really torn there as to what the best option was. Alright, that's a good location for them. Knock out Ebony Maw again. Give me armor, please. Give me something. No, I don't have armor in here. Uh, okay. Systems go. Opponent snapped.
All right, we're gonna replay Shang-Chi in two lanes. That knocks out Venom at least. Uh, they have priority, so I think that should be okay. I kind of miss Marvel Snap because uh, I can play Lore no more. Yeah, you should come back, man. I think the, the difficult thing with Snap is there's so many cards now, I feel like it's really hard to predict what's gonna come out. Because there's just been so many new cards added. Like, if you think about it, there's like five cards added every month. So, you know, if you took like four months off, there's like another 20 cards you got to consider. Yeah, buddy. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. All right, that felt pretty good. <laughs> okay, round three here. <laughs> but we definitely got some moves here. That would that was a move for sure. Yandu. He hits he's hit Maw every single time. Uh every single time. Crazy. Carnage Carnage probably. No, oh, Jin. Ooh. Okay. Wow, and um, we can definitely, definitely play Professor X next round. There's nothing to steal. Um, yeah. Really? Really? Dude, really? How did you how did you play death so early? Really? Oh my gosh. This guy's so lucky, man. It's an awfully convenient spot to just stick. Awfully convenient spot to stick your death.
All right, turn one here. Ice box hit rogue. That's not great. Guess we'll play here then. We pull Ebony Maw on <laughs> turn four so we can no longer play him. Nice if we could just get a break from time to time. Well, that's kind of fun. That is that that is kind of fun actually. So technically we can play cards wherever. And we can play infinite maybe middle <laughs> last turn. Oh, Let's try this. Let's try this out, guys. We're going to replay the war machine. We're playing Maw here. Alright, turn seven. But we get to play Infinite next turn. That's big. Uh, for your information, they nerfed Yandu now. He hits the lowest cost card. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, thank you for that info. No Ravona. Hell, can you understand me? This is why he hits Ebony Maw every time. Oh, that makes sense. Ah, that makes perfect sense now. Yeah, that's why the Yandu keeps hitting him. Um, the tough thing here, guys, is they're, they're probably going to play the Null. We don't know exactly what lane. It probably would be middle, but we don't know that for sure. We could split the Infinite. But if we guess the wrong lane, we're just going to help Null. He's got seven energy. I mean, he could play death as well. This might be dumb, but. Hail Hydra! Bruh. Yeah, I helped. I helped him. I helped him. I helped him! No! No. Yeah, I, I was thinking that too, Jerush, but we helped him. And that was our, that's what I was worried about. So he would have been a 15, became a 35 as a result. Um, but you know what, guys? I feel comfortable with the deck. I think it's tough against a on it's tough against a uh, a destroyed deck, I think, cuz it kept hitting like our Ebony Maw, kind of screwing us up, but 
All right, let's take this into infinite. Uh, let's take this into infinite, and we'll see what we can do. We're also just a couple of rewards away from uh, a one one reward actually from getting this Captain America card. Okay. But yeah, I oh man, Iron Lad feels good too because Iron Lad potentially being able to pull. Um, some of these big cards are, are, feels nice. Like that last turn, Iron Lad pulled, uh, War Machine. And we got to play War Machine two turns in a row. That felt pretty good. Alright, let's go with uh, Iron Lad for now. He'll be a 12. Okay. We're gonna try to fill this up. Uh, we're gonna lock this down. second so I think we're gonna do this we'll go war machine that'll double to 12 we'll play the Shang Chi that'll double to six hopefully knock out whatever they put down Snap. Snapped. all right we'll see what happens no oh, unless it, unless it's a lieth if it's a lieth damn it that's the worst card. That is the worst card in this game. Literally, this card makes me want to stop playing Snap. I hate this card. I hate this card. I literally hate this card. It's a dumb. It's dumb. It's a dumb card. It's really just a dumb card. I I, I freaking hate it, man. They need to make the requirement way better. The requirement is so easy to meet. You have priority. That's that's a really low bar. That is such a low bar. Dude, I, I hate, I literally hate Eliath. It is the dumbest card. It is ruining this game. It is ruining the game. It really is. It's a terrible card. It's a terrible card. I, I hope they like continue to add requirements to that card because it is just too easy to use. Like, the fact that that's the requirement, you have priority. That's a, it's a terrible requirement. It's a terrible requirement. <sighs> I kind of miss Snap when there was less cards. There's just so many cards now. Some of the cards, I think, are... Taking away.
Why don't we just steal the steal the on reveal, I guess. The game is around having priority or not. If you do Alioth, then if you Shang-Chi them, it's dumb. Uh, the game is around having priority or not. If you do Alioth, yeah. Um, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna play the. Uh... Oh, they retreated. Victory. Okay. I guess uh, losing the Wong ongoing there. But I don't know. I just feel like the the requirement is too easy. I think sometimes certain cards that the card text gets uh, gets tweaked over time because the card text is too easy. A perfect example of that is Miss Marvel. When Miss Marvel first came out, she was super, super strong. You need to play one card in order to tap into her ongoing. They've made her sense harder and harder to tap into. With that being said, I mean, some people liked the original Miss Marvel better, but she was a card that, like, you could still win. You could rogue her. You could, you know, play Echo. You could play Enchantress. There's ways of getting around that. What is the way of getting around Elioth? Either you have priority or you don't. That's not a good requirement. All right, we're going to play Quinjet. All right, okay. It looks like he's going to play Loki here. We get a 16. He has priority. Uh, theoretically, he could retrigger this with Odin. But he, if he played the Eliath here, maybe he doesn't have it. I don't know. We'll see. If it's Odin, I'd be really disappointed. Okay. Okay. 
22. We'll have 16. I think we tie in one lane. Wakanda forever! Oh, jeez. Okay. Pull this off. Victory. Just barely avoided the Eliath again. Oh, he got life from Nick Fury? Oh, no way. Oh, that's so funny. Well, it's a good thing we stole the Quinjet, because he could have been, he might have been able to play that even sooner. But yeah, okay, so we beat the Loki deck. Oh, man, and that's a, dude, seven power to the top of whatever comes out next. That's pretty good. I feel like I should probably snap on that, but let's see what comes out. Bruh! Bruh! Oh my god. Alright, I think we gotta snap on this. Snap. Oh my gosh, it's Black Panther. We have a 522 card. <laughs> Whoever has the least power here wins. All right, let's go ahead and steal Zabu's ability. Start with that. No! <sighs> okay, let's lock this down. But I still can't play it. Ah, oh, shit. I still can't play an Ebony Maw in his spot. <sighs> Oh my god. The Mind Stone is a... <sighs> the Mind Stone is a one... St it... What? Oh. <laughs> I can't, I can't even, I can't do anything. I can't do anything. Dude, the cards are coming out so bad. Escape. So bad. No war machine here. Ah. Uh, bar uh, bar with no name really killed us there. Bar with no name was just like, come on, man. Ah, uh, that feels so bad. I know, right? A 211, jeez. Enough said, Bob. Uh. Well, we have War Machine. We can at least play Namaw. But we've uh, discarded Ravona. I don't love that. Two Odins, or, okay, I guess two Maws. I think I gotta wait for now.
Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, we're going to lock this down. Hey, what's up, Dr. Patter? What's up, man? Welcome in. Good to have you with us. All right, we're going to start here with this. Oh, they have to keep it. They were going to Galactus us, but not anymore. Oh, snap. We can replay with Shang-Chi last round, theoretically. Yeah, game time, baby. Game time. Game. Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go, guys. So we set that up in case we had nothing to knock out because we did have priority there. We would have gotten the chance the second time around uh, to steal the ongoing ability here with Rogue because she didn't hit anybody the first time. So we could replay that on reveal. All right. There we go. <laughs> but what's up, Dr. Patter? Good to see you in the chat. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Uh, we just picked up today. It took us three spotlight keys, but uh, we, we picked up War Machine finally. Um, and that is pretty exciting, I gotta say. Because I've been waiting for that card for quite a while. We got some discounts here. I like it. Even even more here with uh, Zabu. He's got a Zabu as well. Okay. Why don't we steal the Zabu? So now if we wanted to, we can get this free six cost card. Theoretically, oof. Um, I think we're in a skip here. We're gonna play Ebony Maw there. That's a 20. That's a 10. I think we're okay. Oh. But if that's a 20, they can't have anything too big here, right? 
Bruh, are you f Hell, can you understand? Really? That's too much. That's too much. That's too much. Really? They pulled. They were able to play in a single turn. 40 points. Ghost Rider got them 20 points here. Some more. They got 20 points here from Ebony. I don't know, man. You don't you don't get luckier than that. You just don't. You don't get luckier than that. <laughs> yeah, you you don't. You don't get luckier than that. That's yeah. I don't know, man. It just seems like everybody is just so lucky. It's it's wild. Just wild, man. How could this happen? To me? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, feels like it, man. I gotta say. <laughs> oh man, that's been my whole day. Yeah, my whole day has been no. Don't want to steal that on going. Uh, All right, I guess we'll just go with this and then uh, into Odin. So here's Two Black Panther. Wakanda forever. Hopefully that's not a Shang Chi. No, I guess not. Okay. Uh, that does make life a little bit more complicated, but. That should probably get us there. Oh, well they ran. Victory. <laughs> but yeah, man, I just uh It's it's wild, man. This game has so many cards at this point, it's like hard to keep up. There's just so many cards. I think some of the cards have been good addition. I think most of the cards have been good additions. Um, there's a handful of cards I really don't like. Eliath being one of them. I'm I'm really not a fan of Eliath. Opponent snapped. Great. So no rogue that we can steal. That's probably terrible. Play a little bit further. Dig in. Okay. Okay.
from playing playing cards anywhere. Okay. Can't play Ebony now. <laughs> uh, that's pretty interesting, I gotta say. And then uh, we probably just play Odin last round. Not good. That's not good. That's not good. I can't believe they had an out there with Killmonger. It's pretty annoying. We're just short of blocking this. Again, because of the Killmonger. We go second, so we can't even lock it down if we wanted to. Not that it would matter, because we got to win two other lanes. I don't know, man. I have the Best worst day. luck in the world for this game. <laughs> I really do. I have, like, the most terrible luck in this game. The matchups, the locations I get, it's, it's just never complimentary to the deck I'm playing. Never. Spotlight caches never get anything good most of the time. I don't know, man. I. It's been a frustrating day. I'm not going to lie. And we only just started. And it looks like we are playing a, uh, a Nihilus, probably Galactus Junk deck. So here's a Nihilus, and I don't know, it just gets annoying because it's like I know what he's doing, but we don't really have a good counter. I mean, the only, I, I guess I can stick Cosmo in here. I could trade Rogue with Cosmo, I guess. 
Shang-Chi with Cosmo. I don't know, man. Uh, it's definitely a Nihilist, though. We know that. So, I'm just... I don't know. It's just a bad situation, dude. Twenty bucks. He does Galactus here too. It's just, dude. I just—it's so predictable, but like they make it so easy for these junk decks. Like this location helps him. This helps him because I can't get rid of the Void. I, I don't know. They really need to make a way to get rid of Void, because that—that card. For junk decks, it's like, it's so expected. I guess Cosmo, like, Cosmo is like the only card. So we, what, we, sh we trade Shang-Chi for Cosmo, I guess? Trade Rogue for Cosmo? Trade Professor X for Cosmo? Valkyrie. But who do you take out in, in that situation? You said Valkyrie. So. Yeah. But here's the thing, guys. If we just, if we were just hitting better cards, like, we'd be doing so much better. The RNG that we hit today is just kind of terrible. I don't know, man. I this this game in particular. I don't know. I just have the worst luck. Lock up the right lane. Uh, he can send it over. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Uh, but we're playing around a bunch of cards. We're playing around War Machine. We're playing around... Like, Iron Lad can pull a lot of good stuff. Uh, if Iron Lad pulls Black Panther, that's a, that's a win. Um, War Machine, if he gets pulled by Iron Lad or whatever, we can play Infinite. I don't know. We're doing discounting. Although, Ravona is kind of random now because we took out the... Um, yeah, Rav Ravona feels not as good anymore. So I, I mean, we what we've done here is we've put in counters for ongoing and on reveal, Rogue and Cosmo. We have discount with Zabu and Ravona. Ravona is a little bit weird because we took out Zabu. We could put in Iron Man. Maybe Iron Man would be better, and that justifies the Ravona at least. Don't play a counter of a specific card because it'll be frustrating to lose against just, yeah. Uh, They probably aren't expecting that. Yeah. 
They just happen. They just happen to play every single card in the middle. Just happen to. I really need to start adding a freaking. made a terrible mistake. <laughs> I don't know if I did, though. I just um, feel kind of unlucky. Just bad draws, man. Bad draws. Escaped. <sighs> Ravona either has to come out or we got to stick something in that would justify her more. I think Iron Man might be the justification. Maybe I'll switch Shang-Chi with Iron Man. Not sure. I could play Ravona too. I don't know what I'm thinking here. That seems kind of obvious now, but he'll probably counter. We'll be up to 15. Yeah. Ah, just one of those days where every win is one cube, every loss seems to be eight. Ah. There we go.
Hey, what's up, Nick? Welcome in, man. Good to have you with us. Are outside? Oh, nice. What are you guys doing? <laughs> nice. What's up, Liam? Welcome in, man. Um, all right. I'm trying to figure out the best play here. I think we want to maybe go with something like this. Wakanda forever! So, okay, C5. All systems go. So there are threes that became five. That's probably a Shang-Chi then, right? Hey, this is Liam. I have acquired Nick's phone. <laughs> What's up, Liam? Uh, we're just doing a little snap today, but hope you guys are doing well. Uh, just on a walk. Nice, man. Well, I hope, hope the weather is, uh, you know, comfortable. Uh, they play the Shang-Chi. They can probably play one other two. Co so let's say they have 20 here. That's probably about right. This gets us to 24, but if they have the Shang-Chi, we lose. I don't know. Oh, right, but they go first. Oh. So maybe it's more than that. Are ye worthy? All right, we're at 24. We just barely squeaked this out. All right, but there it is. <laughs> Weather has been great after two days of straight up, uh, straight up no sky. Oh man, yeah, that's I I cannot deal with like super cloudy, rainy weather. I feel like I just get depressed after a while if I'm if I'm cooped up inside too long. Never give up hope <laughs> for hope summers here. All right. But that's awesome, man. Well, I'm glad I'm glad the weather's nice. You guys are uh, due for it. Yeah, we all got surprised. <laughs> got to take advantage of it while uh, you got it for sure. <laughs> all right, we got a little discount here with Utopia. I do like this new location quite a bit. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, break over. All right, that sounds good, Nick uh, and Liam. <laughs> but thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Appreciate you guys stopping by. All right, that sounds perfect. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Lime sounds good right now. <laughs> Do you like me some Professor X on turn four? Oh, All right, hopefully we can lock this down. I can just steal his ongoing too. That's not a bad idea. Even, even though we don't uh, get it, just taking it away from him is pretty good.
Oh, we can definitely beat... Well, Dracula is tough. So whatever they play here sets Morbius back to zero. These are not great numbers though. We could add another five here instead of four. That gets us to 11. Uh, their apocalypse might be enough. All right, they ran, okay. Victory. Gets Ebony Maw turn one. Gets him up to eight. We'll put uh, Zabu here. First card you play here adds its power to the top of your deck. Okay, that's going to be interesting. Breaking news. I kind of feel like they're going to go for Krakoa here, so I'm gonna try to lock this down. Another C5 here. Wow. Okay. I can't play there though. Ugh. Yeah, Maul, Maul I both like love and hate right now. <laughs> Maul has made my life kind of difficult sometimes. If we don't get War Machine, uh, he feels a little awkward. Escape. All right, guys, we're going to get some more games going in just a second here. Uh, I'm going to take a quick two-minute break, just use the bathroom. I'll be right back. Hang tight, and I'll see you guys in two minutes. What's up, Legends, and welcome to the Arcade. I'm your host, Super Bob, and this is Life-Changing Video Games. On this channel, we search far and wide for the world's coolest games. Join us for card games like Marvel Snap, because we're always cooking up fun new decks. My chat got me to Legends of Ruin Terra this season, and we climbed all the way to Masters. We've been diving into Season 2 of the Finals, a fantastic FPS that's free to play. We've been generating some absolutely unreal highlights like this. That was sick. That was amazing! Each week, we have a rotating list of games we incorporate, like Bloons TV6, Fallout, Fortnite, Dead by Daylight, Vampire Survivors, and much more. 
Do you have a game recommendation for us? Send me your suggestions over Discord. I'm on Twitch and YouTube Live between Sunday and Thursday, so make sure you have your notifications turned on. I'm often joined by my two furry dogs, Milo and Misa. They're great gaming buddies because they're basically just two big couch potatoes. Click the follow button now to unlock custom emotes for free on Twitch. Or, if you'd like to support the channel with a Prime or Tier 1 subscription, you'll get these extra animated emotes on the house. Pretty sweet, huh? Don't forget, just by watching, you'll acquire tokens to use on Twitch rewards that let you engage with my stream in real time. <laughs> there we go. We dropped the Falcon Punch there. Not sure. Not Hey, we got LOR Swamp in the building. Oh, behave. <laughs> I often play my viewers in friendly battles, so don't be afraid to join in. We can also team up together and build a squad. So what are you waiting for? Grab your tokens and let's go. We got some gaming to do. What's up, legends, and welcome to the arcade. I'm your host, Superbomb, and this is Life Changing Video Games. On this channel, we search far and wide for the world's coolest games. Join us for card games like Marvel's Snap, because we're always cooking up fun new decks. My chat got me to Legends of Ruin Terra this season, and we climbed all the way to Masters. We've been diving into Season 2 of The Finals, a fantastic FPS that's free to play. We've been generating some absolutely unreal highlights like this. That was sick. That was amazing! <laughs> Each week, we have a rotating list of games we incorporate, like Bloons TV6, Fallout, Fortnite, Dead by Daylight, Vampire Survivors. Hey guys, welcome back to the stream. Thank you for your patience. Um, we are right now playing with a War Machine deck uh, that we just built. Uh, it's going pretty well. Hey, Cherry, what's up, man? Welcome in. Good good, uh, good to have you in the chat with us. Welcome on in, Cherry. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see here. We got War Machine in hand, Black Panther. That's all good. Utopia has been a lot of fun with War Machine. <coughs> wow. So they get the... They get the benefit here. But you know what? I'm alright with that. Snap. We'll go ahead and steal Mobius' ability. All right, guys, we're doing a little bit of science here. Nothing can stop you from playing cards here. Wow. I mean, okay, I was wondering if I could do it, but we can do it. 
I was wondering if at Space Throne we could play two cards we can. Oh man, War Machine is big here. We, we're dropping seven here, tying at 11 here, and uh, we're dropping the Shang-Chi in addition to Iron Lad here. They have priority, so I think this could work out. Oh. Victory. Oh. That would have been so awesome. That would have been such a good final turn. Oh man. Okay. We'll take it though. <laughs> Just the possibilities alone are really exciting. Like, I, I'm really curious to see what we're able to sort of do here. Okay. Uh, nothing we can do at the moment. bad timing really really bad timing all right let's let's uh, retreat here those cards came out very poorly <laughs> Escaped. okay moving on Stick Zabu in the middle. That doesn't really affect his ongoing, so that's fine. What does that do for us? Um... I guess it discounts Professor X. Essentially locks down two separate locations. I don't know. This is a this is definitely a risk here if I do this.
We have priority as well. Um, I think I gotta go here first. Uh, this is a risk here, but if this pays off, this is game. Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. Literally perfect. You hold my mighty hand. Game. Game. <laughs> Wow! So guys, that was awesome. We pulled War Machine with Iron Lad, which means even though we locked down all the locations for our opponents, we still could have played here or here last turn. So that was pretty awesome. That was pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty awesome. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, we got Sabu turn two. Man, I need a haircut so bad. Half of my hair is blonde, half of my hair is brown. <laughs> I am all over the place. We're going to go for the, the max power here. All right, interesting. Wakanda forever! They go first.
I don't know. We probably lose this, to be honest. It's Hella. No, it's not Hella. I can't knock it out, though. Wow. Okay. That sucks, man. Yeah, Ebony, I should have known with the uh, Black Knight here. Ah, uh, 14. Okay. I'm trying to figure out like what's working, what's not working, and I feel like the deck is feeling better, but I still feel like there are one or two cards we could tweak to make it potentially work even better. So I'm not quite there yet. We've got discounts. We've got a little bit of counter with Rogue and Cosmo. Figured. I mean, they go first. Uh, that feels pretty good. We get nine points here. We knock out at least Sunspot. I really hope they don't run the Lyoth here. If they run the Lyoth here, I'd be really... Uh, Eliath has been killing me all day. We'll see. Alright, we win. GG's. But I will say, some of the things you can do with War Machine are pretty interesting so far. Ooh. Not sure if I want to put myself in that situation just yet. Playing well fed here. Two nebulas. Okay, I can't do anything here.
Terrible. Uh, terrible, terrible. Okay, let's just retreat here. Escaped. Cards did not come out very favorably there. All right, but here we go, guys. We're right around 86 right now. Playing with this new War Machine deck. There's a lot of potential here. A lot of potential. I don't know, we just seem, we can't seem to draw a, uh, a one or two cost card, so. Was uh, a little anticlimactic. <laughs> but yeah, guys, let me know if uh, if you think there's anything in the deck that you think might work better than some of the cards we got in here. Let me know. We were throwing around maybe uh, using instead of the discount Hope Summers uh, and going kind of the ramp route. We still could go that way, but mm, so far. Yeah, I've been pretty happy with this, but maybe that's a way we can go it. That, that should lock down this location for us. That was super unlucky. I mean, I guess he ramped and maybe I should have expected it, but... Uh, we might pull Shang-Chi here. They could just have a Lyoth. That'd be terrible. They could have a Null. Again, though, if we don't pull Shang-Chi... Ugh. Dude, really? Galactus? Escaped. Really? Bro. Okay. That was insane. 
That was absolutely insane. That worked out nicely. Um, snap. I don't know. Asmat? Kind of forces them to win in all three. I'm gonna put Infinite in the middle. See what they can do. Hello, so happy. All right, beautiful. Man, but War Machine big there. If not for War Machine on turn five, we otherwise would not have been able to play Infinite. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry guys, um, excuse me. But yeah, so that was big. That was big there. We basically made them win in all three lanes. I gotta remember that, that like, we play War Machine turn five, so we can play Infinite turn six. And I know that actually Jerush mentioned that before. So yeah, maybe maybe Hope is better. Maybe a Hope ramp deck is better. We could switch out the Ravona.
But this is getting interesting, guys. I, I think War Machine, honestly, is, is going to make things very interesting. Uh, okay, well, he snapped. Do you want to end the turn after your snap, perhaps? Wow, okay, so they got Black Knight. Uh, this could be trouble. Alright, so now they have a 20 blade. Wow. 22 blade. But we have it too. Uh, and then the question is, can he beat... I mean, we can just go ahead and play the same thing. Unless he's got Jeff or something, maybe. But we can't knock out the other lanes here, so I think we have to... Maybe this is safer. He doesn't have Jeff. I don't see a Jeff in here. Wow, okay. Victory. GG. But there it is. War Machine versus War Machine. <sighs> that got pretty intense. <laughs> But welcome in, guys. Hope you guys are having a fantastic Thursday. Uh, this is uh, this is our first time playing with War Machine, but I gotta say, already, he he's a fantastic card. If you're thinking about using your spotlight keys, I think this is the week to pull the trigger. He feels like a good card. effects are disabled. Uh, we kind of need this to hit here.
Oh. Victory. Okay. Not sure what happened there, but I'm moving on. Oh man, that's a pretty dope Cyclops variant. I kind of want to get it. <laughs> Chelsea bot. So is that actually a bot or is that a... Live from the Daily Bugle. Zabu next. All of her four cost are three now. Okay, Cosmo. Yeah, we gotta go War Machine here. Yeah, that's probably our best bet. Go! Go, go, go! There it is. All right. But yeah, man, War Machine turned five feels really good. <laughs> feels really good. So Infinite is a five. That's actually pretty big. Okay, cool. So now we can go for Mobius at least. That feels pretty good.
All right, well, we steal that lane. That feels pretty good. And I think we go Black Panther into Odin. Oof. Well played. Okay. Wakanda forever. Yeah, they got us here. They just need to beat six. Uh, they can play there, we can't. <laughs> so, yeah, unfortunately, because we didn't get War Machine here, and they did, uh, I think we got to retreat on this. Because they win Alter. I could have tried to lock down Alter, but we didn't have War Machine either way. Yeah, I think this is a retreat here. Escaped. <laughs> anyway, we'll flash the the Cyclops there. But yeah, man, War Machine's been a lot of fun. I like I like this new card. It's been good. We lost the Zabu, unfortunately. We have Ravona. Alright. Well, that's it for Shang-Chi. So they can play anywhere this turn, but not next turn. If I skip, I can infinite. I think I'm going to skip. Skip and just play infinite. Gets us to 23. I don't know if that's enough or not. Uh, it might be safer to play in the other lane. This puts us up by uh, 4 plus 3 is 7. Which is Onslaught. could steal the ongoing, but I don't know. Uh, hello, hello. That's probably the safest play. Hello, K. 
Can you understand me? There we go. Victory. All right. A little bit of lockdown there. Not bad. New Cyclops avatar. Right, guys, we're making moves. We're making moves here. We are making moves. This just in. Okay, they have, they have an iron heart. Maybe we'll just, uh... Did you notice the last OTA? When you say OTA, uh, what do you mean by that? Uh, OTA is... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm blanking on OTA. I should have snapped on that. Victory. Okay. Uh, over the air, aka patch. Oh. Um. So I know that they uh, they mentioned some updates here. I know like that was with the Guardians of the Galaxy or, or afterwards, because I know like the Guardians of the Galaxy got buffed. I saw some of those changes. Were there more sense? Balance updates. Here, let me let me see. Captain Marvel, Apocalypse, Mind Stone, Psylocke. Yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy. So I think I read through this. So Guardians of the Galaxy are a lot better now. Uh, Adam Warlock is a five four well, he was a five he's a five five now. Psylocke, Minds yeah, Mind Stone got changed a little. You are so rich. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Oh man, I um, <laughs> I literally have zero credits and seventy-four cubes. <laughs> uh, but what's going on, uh, Z Crew Slow? Um, I apologize if I butchered that. But welcome in, uh, Z Crew Z, Z Creo. Z Creo, good to have you with us, man. All right, guys, we're making progress, though. Yeah, so I was playing with um, Guardians, and I, I actually think they're pretty fun to play with now. But I kind of... Oh, said me Lao. Oh, Lao. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Z-Creo... Z-Creos Lao. Z-Creos Lao. Did I say that right? Oh, Lao. Okay, I'll just call you Lao. What's up, Lao? Welcome in, man. Uh, she Oak Bundle. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you're trolling me now. <laughs> you're trolling me now. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> That's pretty funny though. Okay, nice. We got some discounts. 
Everything's gonna shift, but I'm okay with that. Cosmo? Does that help us? Okay, so if they're running the Ebony Maw, I can almost guarantee you that they probably have a war machine as well. So no draw. And I could try to go ahead and lock this down. Which I think is probably our best play. I'm not gonna snap though. Oh. Ouch. <sighs> Ouch. So I was right about the war machine. Um, yeah, it kills us here. I agree. Yeah, this is probably a retreat, I think. I guess really what I probably should have done is like leaned into war machine middle. I could have put him here. He would have shifted. Then we could have played Infinite here. That probably would have been better. Okay. But yeah, this is a retreat here, guys. <laughs> this is definitely a retreat. Okay, so one of these locations is gonna get destroyed. Kinda hope it's Dark Dimension, but... TBD. Uh, no, I, I didn't. Uh, but I think Jerush was making a joke. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure he was joking here. Uh, it's not an ongoing that we can steal, but... Why don't we just stick it here? Don't worry, buddy. <laughs> You're doing fine. Thanks, man. I, I <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> but thanks, Drew. I appreciate it, man. We're doing what we can. We are doing what we can. Uh, we have two more turns here, so I kind of think the play might be this. Then we can play Infinite the next turn. That feels pretty good. That'll be at 25. I doubt they run the Shang-Chi in this package, right? <laughs> Hello. So yeah, it's happy. fun, right? We just got War Machine. Yeah, so Lao, we just got War Machine. Uh, it's been pretty fun so far. I'm not gonna lie. So we've got here Rogue. Uh, we go first, so this the Shang-Chi's not really gonna work. 
Um, we've got to win two lanes. They skipped last turn, which means they probably play She-Hulk for one. And then they have five energy left over, so that's probably Abomination. Although he's a three, they could play one extra card. Or maybe they just float the energy. I think it's She-Hulk Abomination. This is a two. Abomination's going to be a nine. Our best bet is probably... Probably this. Okay, Hulk. I guess Hulk and... Um, Hulk and She-Hulk here. That's a win. Oh, why didn't I snap on that? I should have snapped. Yeah, does he... So, turn six... Oh, you're right. Maybe he did a full float on turn... Maybe... I think it was turn five, right? Turn five, he floated. So, he floated five energy. Um, he floated five energy on turn five. So, that's a full float. And then... Uh... Well, actually, it must have been turn seven, right? I guess She-Hulk was free, and they played Hulk for six. Was it turn seven? I don't know. <laughs> I totally lost track there. <laughs> um, so, Jerush, I think by full float, he means if you have five energy on turn five, you use all five energy. I think that's what he means by full float. Wow, am I right about that? Yo, beautiful. Beautiful. Opponent snapped. Okay, alright, he's snapping here. I maybe uh, use Infinite deck with high Evo. Oh, that's not a bad idea. That's honestly not a bad idea. Interesting. Uh, okay. It's only turn two. Wow, there's so much that happened already. They stick Jeff in there. Alright, so we need at least eight. For that to work. This gets us to nine. And I think we go ahead and lock it down. Which is, uh... Oh, six energy on turn six, uh, and you don't use any energy. Uh, this is the full float. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. So yeah, I think I think we were roughly talking about the same thing here. But here's what we're gonna do, guys. We gotta go War Machine first. He does have priority, so that could kill us, but hopefully not. Yeah, all right. Wow, we, I think we can snap on this too, potentially. That gets us to 11. That gets us across the bridge here. I'm not going to snap on it because I think he's going to run. If I snap, I think he runs. This gets us to 11. This gets us over the finish line. Let's play that. <coughs> Wind aid my hand. So that's eleven. Beautiful. That is ten. And that's a win. That's a win, baby. Victory. Woo! Yeah, war machine's looking good. <laughs> that's level eighty-nine, guys. All right, so on the day, we were up uh, quite a few levels. I think we started at 86. So we're up about at least three levels on the day. Uh, 
edging towards inf- uh, back to Galactic again. We've been as high as like 94 this season. But we're going to try to finish the climb with this deck. I'm really digging this deck though, I gotta say. Uh, we got a bunch of random cards, so... Uh, I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> oh my god, this guy's name is great. His name is Please Nerf Destroy. <laughs> so relatable, right? Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Alright, this is tough, man. I'm waiting on cards to show up. I guess we'll go name war. <laughs> they're doubling whatever they're playing next. Uh, we have priority, so why don't we let them go first? I kind of feel like Ultron's the play here. It's not a great play, but I think it's the best we got. Now oh, they ran. Okay. Victory. Oh, did we have Zola? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? We don't have Zola. <laughs> Where are we going to play Zola? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Jerush, I'm confused. Wait, where 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 was the Zola? <laughs> oh, on Death Strike. Oh, right, right, right. They might have just replayed it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I thought you were saying that we should Zola. My bad. Okay, we got Zabu turn two. Good start. Good start. We're playing Captain Conway here. Echo. Okay, good thing I didn't play that there. No! No! But that's actually fine, because we can... There's a few things we can do here. But yeah, that that's not bad. Oh, he's got War Machine too. Ah, uh, oh, that's brutal. Okay, so he can play cards here. We can't beat 13. We'd have to be the 13. How does he have 13? Oh, from Marvel. 
So maybe maybe it would maybe it was better to play Professor X there in the middle. Although they would have got around it. All right, it's a mirror match. I think we just lose the mirror match here. Yeah, I think we just lose the mirror match. Escape. Oh, C2. Do you think that's what it is? Cerebro, t Cerebro 2? They have Storm, but it's... They have a 6 here. It's going to be whatever the, the um, strongest card is, isn't it? Hmm. I don't know. I didn't feel super confident there, so I'd rather just take the 2 cube loss. There's a lot of ways that could go wrong. All right, guys. The journey continues. <laughs> oh, once I see someone's name, F your Eliath. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Not C2. Yeah, Echo Storm, I thought C2. Right. I'm not sure what that deck was, to be honest with you. It might have been a mishmash. Like a mishmash deck with, like, War Machine. Okay, we're not drawing any of our small cards yet. Uh, terrible location for us, um, but that's fine. Okay, we're gonna steal Kyera. We have priority. Um, I don't love. Opponent snapped. I don't love that we have priority here. Kind of expect like Hulk here. Gets us to 15. All right, we'll see what happens. Okay, so turn six, he played into hope here. Uh, so they, I guess they had seven energy and they played, wow. Yeah, priority really killed us there. Priority really, really killed us there. Oh man. Okay, well, it is what it is. They just, they high, they, they had a very similar deck and they just high rolled a lot better than us. Hey, Freya, should have played Rogue to steal Miss Marvel. Yeah, I was thinking about it, but um, at the time, 
I don't think Jeff was on the board yet. That was a couple games ago. Sorry, Freya. I'm just seeing that comment now. Alright, I like Zabu better. Okay, we're gonna go Iron Lad next. All right, that works Wakanda out. Forever. All right, beautiful. We are gonna snap on this. Oh, snap. That's tough, man. I was really hoping for Shang-Chi would have been nice. Um, they're just going to Taskmaster here. We have priority, though. So actually, here's what we're going to do. Pri uh, this into this. That should screw up their Taskmaster. I, th I think that'll win us the game, hopefully. Yes! Got him! Got him! Got him! Got him! Victory! <sighs> Alright, back to level 90 here, guys. Big hand there. Really big hand there. Oh, man. <sighs> big win there. <laughs> Woo! I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little I'm, I'm a little hyped after that one guys. Oh that felt good. <clears throat> War machine's kinda fire right now. We could play two Ravonas. Oh man, there's a lot of things we can do here. Ravona first.
Uh, he has priority. That's actually good for us. I think that's our best play. Let's just go for two here. Ah, I should have. I should have snapped. Okay. Anyway, I'll take it. Victory. All right, guys. We are climbing galactic here. That's a play, Rhea, 100%. Well, what's up, Freya? How you doing? Hope your day is going well. Good to have you with us. But this deck has really been performing very well today. We started at 86, we're already up to 90. It's feeling pretty good. of death. Ooh. Okay. Certainly helps a destroy deck. We're going to put this here. Snap. One location's Wakanda. That's bad for them. One location is gonna have Cosmo, also bad for them. Steal the Null, why not? All right, two more.
credits. Beautiful. Hope Summer's avatar. I like it. Alright guys. Almost uh, 91. We're uh, more than halfway there. I don't hate that for now. That's a 12. <laughs> We're playing. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this guy's name. Big PP Master. Okay. All right. Real mature. <laughs> Um, Cosmo is going to be really good for us, so we're going to play him ASAP. All right, let's just go for two. Oh, it's uh, they're gonna Zola. Okay. Off one head, two more shall uh, take its place. Okay. Wow, we still won though. guys on to the next one we are level 90 and climbing one short of 91 got Zabu early I like that hmm. we could give them the maw I don't, I don't hate that, to be honest. Uh, 
Don't love that, though. Maybe we can kill Silk if she bounces the right spot. Ah, nope. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. All right, we get their Silk. Uh, oh no, they they just get their Silk destroyed. We can play Martyr. That's pretty awesome. Martyr's at 1-7. Oh, snap! Opponent snapped! Alright, fair enough. Infinite is a 620 though. I can play him. So he kind of helped me there actually. Maybe it's worth stealing Zabu here. And we'll play infinite last turn. Infinite. need five here to get to pull ahead. And Shang Chi's not gonna not gonna work. Ah crap. If we didn't have priority that would be better. Can't play there. They only need to win in one location. I don't like this, man. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, they helped us. They helped us there. Wow. Wait, no. What? What the? What do you? What do you? What do you? Okay. What? What? Oh my gosh. Martyr. I didn't know martyr moved. <laughs> I don't play a lot of martyr, so I didn't realize it was gonna move. At the end of the game, move to a location that loses you the game. Oh my gosh. Wow. But we won it. <laughs> That's so crazy. <laughs> Wow, guys. All right. That's 92. Insane. That was insane. Guys. Oh, my God. Freya, you saw that, right? Yeah, pig left. That's what we went with there. It was just enough. But the martyr, we both had martyr. And at the end of the game, we both jumped to the left lane. That was crazy. That was absolutely crazy, guys. Absolutely crazy. Oh my gosh. Are you guys pumped or what, man? We are killing it right now. <laughs> we are absolutely killing it right now. We're probably going to save War Machine for turn 5. We've got Infinite in our hand. After you play a card here, destroy it. Okay, that makes it tricky for them, unless they got some kind of hella deck. Um, 
All right, I think we're just gonna skip for now. I think we need War Machine for last turn. So let's just do this for now. Doubles the ongoing ability, or uh, oh, maybe not. Maybe not. I maybe not. Apocalypse. Oh, <laughs> oh, that was brutal. Thank you, Ben. Uh, that was pretty brutal. That was pretty brutal. See, now this is tricky, because um, everything is just under 10. I think this is a retreat, retreat situation here, guys. Escaped. All right, but we're level 91. We started the day at 86, so we're up about uh, almost about six levels, yeah. Have you seen the trailer for Marvel Rivals? I have not. Is that a? It's a new game coming out. What what kind of game is it? Uh, it's still. By the way, welcome in. Good to have you with us. Marvel game like. Oh, like Paladins or Overwatch? Oh, dude. No, I have not seen this. That, that sounds amazing. That sounds freaking amazing. Overwatch, but with Marvel? Oh, dude, sign me up. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh... Okay, so they definitely benefit from uh, destroy here with Nor. Um, they'll probably we could kind of prevent them from doing anything else. That might be a that might be an option. Oh, Devil Dino. I was expecting Venom, but okay. Devil Dino it is. need War Machine for this to work.
Holy moly, we got it. It does cap us out though, which is in, which is not great, but uh, hmm, food for thought, food for thought. That gets us 28. It's not quite enough. Okay. All right, that's fine. Victory. All right, beautiful. Back to 92, guys. We are on the climb, man. We are pretty much on the climb. Frame break. Oh, there's an uh, an alpha sign up for May. Oh, nice. All right, well, it's still. I'm gonna keep a, a uh, keep an eye on that. Marvel Rivals. All right, let me check out the trailer in just a second here, guys. I'm gonna use the bathroom super quick, but we got some trivia for you. I'll see you in just three or four minutes. I'll be right back. Coming. Alright guys, welcome back. Thank you for your patience. Uh, hope you guys did good on the trivia. Um, we've been trying to do new trivia each and every week. 
Uh, I'm gonna try, <coughs> excuse me. I'm gonna try next week to uh, to try and have some new trivia for you, for you guys. But at the very latest, uh, two weeks from now, we'll have round three. So uh, that trivia you just did was round two. We'll have at least one more round. But here we go, guys. We're level 92. Can we get to infinite here with our brand new War Machine deck? Uh, we just picked them, up, picked them up today. It took us three spotlight keys to get them. So we really had to sacrifice, dig deep to get them. Um, but we got them. War Machine is in our possession, and uh, that feels pretty good. That feels pretty good. Random six cost card. Uh, I do like Ravona for the whole, like, we could potentially lock something down. Agatha, oh. Jeez, I might have to, I might have to snap on that. Oh, we got a Lyoth though. They have a Lyoth in their hand, wow. Why is why is a Lyoth discounted though? Yeah, perfect. Okay, we could try to lock it down. If now we got War Machine. They have priority. Ouch. Priority here is kind of tough. The Kyera is also kind of tough. Opponent snapped. Where do they play though? That's the question. I want to play the War Machine, but he knows we got to play middle here. So there's no way around the fact that it's Eliath. Okay. They reveal first, so we can't play Eliath against them. Uh, if they had Thanos, Thanos would be... Thanos would be... Th would win a throne room. Yeah, I think leave two. Yeah. True. Escape. Yeah, it's just, I think if we had to have, if we, uh, do I have Cole? No, I don't. I don't. Did you end up picking him up? Cole Obsidian? He's a, he's a 410, but you had to play him in a lane where there's a one cost card. Uh, I, I, I ended up not getting him. I, I ended up passing on him. Did you get him? Took me three, yeah, three keys. Dude, I, here's the thing. I really think... They should let you pick how to use the key. Like they should have one locker. They should have one locker for each card or each variant. And they should let you use that key, open up the card that you want to get it. 
Uh, I also have coal. Oh, oh, if that's what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Coal obsidian. Yeah, I feel like he's got good stats. I wasn't sure if he was worth it or not, so I ended up kind of passing on him. That's nice. Oh, Iron Lad 12. That's pretty nice. Okay. We got to play this turn. Turn five. Wow. Okay, we both have the War Machine here. Interesting. Just dropping by. I wish Conquest doesn't feel so obnoxious to play. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Shang-Chi mid. I, I kind of was leaning towards that in case they drop something big, but then we... I guess that's enough. 18, 21, 23. They're going to have 12 they move over. That might be 14 with Nebula. Oh, yeah, priority. Yeah, so Shang-Chi is not going to work. That's right. Thank you. Two cubes. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Wakanda forever! Okay. Woo! -hoo! Count it. But yeah, dude, um, Lau, good catch there about priority there. Oh, sorry, just dropping by. Good catch there. Um, that was a difference, actually. If I had played the Shang-Chi, we, we, uh, we would have lost. So yeah, good call, good call on priority there. I, I very easily could have screwed that up. Oh, look at that! Star-Lord variant. I kind of like that. Okay. But guys, we're at 92. We started the day at 80... Uh, we started the day at 86. So we're, we're already up on the day six levels. And uh, we're inching pretty close to Galactic here. Or, sorry, pretty pretty close to Infinite here. That's going to be a 9. I can live with that. Okay, Zabu next. Uh, 
Uh, let's just keep going with the discounts here. Okay, looking looking probably like a hella discard deck. Just at first glance, that's my that's my guess. I'm so bad at reading the 50-50 on my opponent, Eliath, or whatever. Yeah, the location doesn't help either. Uh, yeah, it's... I, I gotta be honest. Some people really like Eliath and think it's healthy for the game. I'm not so sure. I, I'm not sure how I feel about Eliath or not. I don't know. I feel like I don't know if I agree with that. If it's, if it's like, totally necessary for the game. All right, but they've discarded some big boys here. Swarm, Dracula, Dakin. Uh, but man, yeah, that's one card that just has been killing me all day. Eliath. The, we, we've, we've beaten him a couple of times, but I would say he's gotten me quite a few times today. That card is devastating too. You're like, I don't even get to reveal my cards. Oh man. Wakanda forever! So, probably Hella, right? Although this is kind of a weird setup for Hella. You know what? I'm just gonna play the Cosmo middle, cause they'll well they'll move they can move stuff. Mm. You know what? That's fine. Let's let's go with that. We'll see how it goes. I guess it's a bot. I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> That's weird. I, I don't know. I'll take it, but very strange. Definitely real. The avatar is Cole. Huh. But why would they not play any cards? Maybe they had like Agatha and Agatha just decided not to play any cards. <laughs> I don't know. It's a weird, like, decision. So, I don't know. Opponent snapped. Alright. Opponent snaps. Nebula. Okay. I'll pass for now. Swap hands on six. Okay, don't love that. 
Uh, we're gonna play the Cosmo. The pro I, I kind of feel like this is gonna be Guardians of the Galaxy here, but could be wrong. Hmm. Interesting. So he had some kind of War Machine High Evo thing going on. He can't play our Infinite. He could play Odin. He does have some small cards he can play. What do we? I think we had Rogue, Ravona, Zabu. We're up by four, he's up by three, we win by one point. Victory. We win by one point! One point! Oh my gosh. Insane. Alright guys, that's 93. Retreat, oh man. Uh, it's a strange deck, uh, like you picked cards at random. So I'll tell you, I'll, kind of, I'll, I'll explain the reasoning behind this is though. Uh, we're up seven levels on the day, so we're, we're climbing pretty good with it, but let me explain it. So, War Machine is obviously the, the new card with Spotlight this season, or this, this week. And it allows you to, uh, until the end of the turn, nothing can stop you from playing cards anywhere. So that means Ebony Maw, who you normally couldn't play after turn three, guess what? You can play him. It means... Infinite, who oh Ravona seems pointless. Yeah, we had before we to be fair, you're kinda right. We had before um uh Arnim Zola. Arnim Zola was in here before. So he got discounted to five. We could play him on turn five. But now the only card that's really discounting is Professor X. So I agree with you that Ravona does feel pretty random at the moment. But yeah, it was it was when we had Arnim Zola. Um, I was also considering Iron Man. So like instead of Professor X, I could have gone Iron Man. All right, I'm glad I didn't play Rogue because now we can go ahead and steal that.
All right, amazing. Yeah, we, we got this, guys. So here, we're going to just Cosmo. We have priority. And we're going to play here. And uh, that should be game. Sorry, bud. Sorry, bud. <laughs> yes, sir. Cosmo snap. <sighs> Let's go. All right, guys. 93 and climbing. Not too shabby, huh? Not too shabby. <laughs> and we've got the most blurry, pixelated... Punisher I've ever seen <laughs> You can't even his face is just so you can't even see what his face looks like. It's just an L <laughs> Look, it's just an L his nose is just an L <laughs> All right moving on <laughs> But yeah, so It's still Ravona seems pointless. I, I kind of agree with you Sometimes being able to play Professor X early is worth it, but you're right. There's there we do. I probably should stick in like one more card to help with Ravona. Oh yeah, watch the trailer when you get a second. Yes, uh, you said Marvel Rivals, right? Marvel Rivals. Yeah, if you need to build a deck with Punisher, that's definitely an L deck. <laughs> so it explains his nose, right? <laughs> yeah, man, Punisher, I feel like Punisher, it, when you first start the game, like when you're pool one, Punisher feels good. But as soon as you start getting better ongoing cards, you're like, I don't know about this, this Punisher guy. Hey, what's up there? Welcome in, man. Uh, Goose isn't bad. Yeah, that's, that's not a bad pick. Yeah, Goose is a good pick, especially with the discounts we're getting. Uh, what are we cooking? We are cooking up a war machine today. I call this deck War Tactics. Uh, we've climbed from level 86 to 93. So we're we're about seven levels out from infinite. Uh, but what's up, Dur? How you doing, man? Good to have you with us, Dur. Dur has helped me uh, the last two seasons uh, build a couple of decks, or he at least sent some decks over to me um, that have been pretty interesting. So um, I, I think Dur, I was I think I was the first person to, to get you into Snap, right? Because uh, I met you when we were playing Legends of Ruinterra, and then Dur became just a fantastic Snap player. Dur ended up uh, breaking into a, right around like a hundred in the world. I, I, sorry, it was, maybe it was even higher than that. But you were really high up. I remember you got you you ended up just like totally doing super awesome. All right, we're gonna go Professor X next turn. Maybe I should have done it this turn, but. Ay. All right, that's not great. That is not great, but we'll do the best we can. Okay, we lost that lane. It pulls our free card. It pulled our free card. Opponent snapped. It pulled our free card. Yeah, X is a right play. Yeah, true. True. Oh well. Anyway, let's retreat here. Dude, I can't believe Grand Central pulled my free card. Escaped. 
It could have pulled Infinite. It pulled my free card. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> Out of all the cards it could have pulled, it pulled my free card. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's too funny though, guys. Too funny. Too funny. All right. Nothing we can do here so far. Shang-Chi is Shang-Pig. Bar Sinister. All right, that'll make life interesting. Uh, started off with Zabu, turn two. All right, no rogue. I can live with Ravona. And we're gonna go ahead and just like lock this down, I think. And this is when Ravona feels good. If we, if this works out, then I think, I don't know. We'll see if Panda Bear Cat here. All right, he's not able to stop us. That's great. War Machine, looking pretty good right now. Yeah, man, and then uh, B to 20. Why not? Go ahead. Like, even if he plays a bunch of little cards here, I don't think... Hello! So happy! Yeah, not even close. Alright, beautiful. See, you know, yeah, I have seen a lot of War Machine. I think people are really excited about it. I mean, I gotta say, the card feels really good. Like, there's so many ways that if you use it on, like, like, you can lock down a location with Professor X and then play, and then even if you lose that, that on turn four, you play uh, War Machine on turn five. Now on turn six, you got a chance to win it back, even though you've locked it down. So like, I don't know. I think War Machine, I went all in for it. I used three spotlight keys. But so far, this it's a good card, man. It feels like a really good card. Okay, whoever has the least power here wins. That's gonna be tricky. Hopefully that gets destroyed. The deck I'm using uh, only lost one game. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. In Infinite Conquest? Oh man, yeah. So, um, the other kind of route I was thinking about going with this, and I'm curious kind of what you did with War Machine, is I was thinking maybe you could kind of go the route where you go higher evolution, float some energy, you know, you have big things to drop. Um, I kind of was thinking high Evo might work out well, too. Okay, we don't have Cosmo. They're going to destroy Bucky here. Why don't we just... Uh, yeah, okay. They take a rock. Beautiful. Beautiful.
We have... N <sighs> I'm going to stick Shang-Chi here. We can't use him right now, but that's okay. Uh, we don't have War Machine. I can just try to maybe steal this. And we can re-trigger... Opponent snapped! Uh... Alright. I don't know. If we, if we win the left, I'll keep playing. If not, I think we gotta retreat. Don't land left, don't land left, don't land left. Okay, beautiful. So left is ours. Final turn here. Kind of expect Venom. They have priority, which is good. We can re-trigger Shang-Chi. You, you still can't win. E even if we re-trigger Shang-Chi here, I feel like we can uh, just dropping by. I mean, 11 versus 13. I mean, that, that's true, but what if they play Venom here? Right? If they... Hmm. I kind of expect the Venom, but maybe I'm wrong? Yeah. Uh, they may not, though. They could play Death. They could play, they, they might play Venom on the right side. They might play Death on the middle. Yeah, it's a, it is a 50-50. It just depends on what they play where. It, you know what, guys? If it's eight, I think I'd walk away for four. Let's have a little fun. Ah, we lose. Okay, you're right. Good call, guys. You're right. It's a 50-50, though. If they play the Venom, we win. Yeah, it could be Null. So it, it's a tough one. But that's okay. Sometimes I feel like you gotta take a risk. But yeah, it could have been Null. The Null also would have saved them. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> All right, we got to play with their deck. It looks like a high Evo deck just from the sunspot, but TBD. Yep, called that. All right. Your leftmost card gets minus one. So Shang-Chi could get discounted. Ravona's better though. <laughs> All right. This is getting crazy. Turn seven, jeez. <coughs> well, we, I, I, uh, they probably don't run Odin. If I played Iron Lad, I don't know what we would pull here.
Uh, skip and play Infinite. Hello, hello. Snap. Oh, hello is good. Hey, what's up, Nick? Welcome in. Oh, you're home. Oh, well, welcome back, man. Uh, we got a big turn coming up here. I'm not sure if they're going to play or not. Uh, they floated a lot of energy. So Hulk's probably up to at least an 18. Ah, but they run. Victory. All right. Well, Nick, welcome in. Good to have you with us, man. Uh, we're trying to get to level 100 here, which is infinite. We started the day, the day at 86, so we're, we're doing well. We're going to try to keep the climb going. See how far we can get. <laughs> yeah, so we're we're making progress. We're not quite there yet, but we're we're making good progress. I think we're gonna go for that extra draw. So we'll go, we'll play at the Abbey first. So that's going to be two. Oh, Raptors. Um, okay. We'll, we'll do that. Why not? Stops there on reveal. They do keep priority though, which is not great. Okay. So they're definitely going for a ramp here. This lets us play Infinite. Tricky, tricky. Um, we can either drop 20 points here or we can split it up a little. I kind of think the 20 is the safest play, but they probably feel like this lane is safe. So they'll, they'll either go here or here. Mmm. I kind of think I kind of think they're going to lean into middle here. Silver Surfer. Okay. Ah, oh, darn. Okay, we're a little short. Hello. So happy. Little short. Just a just a little bit. So, I guess if I had gone with my initial instinct here, which was to play Ebony Maw middle and Black Panther here, uh, then we would have won. Just barely, but we would have won. Okay. Moving on. Turn one skip, but we got Ravona turn two. Oh, Nebula. Okay, give Ravona the buff. 
does uh, buff Nebula, but nothing we can do about that. Okay. Can't be destroyed. Gonna play the Cosmo middle. Just to prevent Nebula from getting any bigger. I should have played Ebony there too. Wind well, now, now I can play him, but. about this. I mean, a one seven's obviously nice. They might just play Onslaught here. That would get them up to... Uh, Plus 10. So they'd be at 15. We're at 12. 15. Tie there. Lose there. No. Okay. No way there. <laughs> no way. No way that's happening. Okay. Moving on, guys. We're trying to be smart about this. Kind of look for good opportunities, not be too aggressive. Start with the Ravona. I like that. Um, I think we can be pretty confident that they have... Oh, nice. We can just turn this off. Yeah, beautiful. I kind of want to snap on it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to. Gets rid of Ebony Maw's um, requisite here. Oh, they ran. Okay. Victory. All right, well, <laughs> moving on. Ravona once again. We'll play her on turn two. This just in. Oh, they have a blue marvel. Interesting. We're going to try to lock down um, oh, Knight of Lear on turn four. Uh, 
Ah, crap. They're gonna have probably Absorbing Man. Probably Absorbing Man. Oh, no. Oh, we stole it. We stole it. I cannot believe we stole that. Insane. We gotta play War Machine. Fair enough. Damn, he's got priority. Uh... Seven gets us to 16. I think we're gonna really have to lean into this lane though. Uh, we could either go Marvel or we could go Iron Lad. I think the Marvel is the safest. 10 plus three, uh, let's call it 13. This is also a three, no, it's a five cost, okay. Let's say they get another plus six, at least, from... So it's going to be Silver Surfer here. The question is, is that enough? Oh, God, it might be. <laughs> Terrible. Wow, we lose by the smallest little margin here. Uh, if I put Marvel, if I put Marvel on this side, we won. Ah, uh, they really didn't have the Silver Surfer. That's crazy. Almost every time they have the Silver Surfer there, almost every single time. Uh, I'm a little shocked they didn't play the, sur the surfer. I'm a little shocked. Because, like, dude, that's what you... In that situation, like, they set up the surfer. Uh, it's a little suspicious. Maybe they didn't have it, but... It is very possible they didn't have it. Uh, we're not going to win the extra energy, so maybe we should just... Yeah. Could just go for infinite, I guess. Hello, hello. Now they win. Uh, they got they got war machine, and we did not. That's unfortunate.
Like, I, I went here. Uh, Nightcrawler can... Um, Nightcrawler can move now. Uh, well, actually, can it can... From playing any cards. Not moving cards. Uh, I think we gotta run anyway, but... Escaped. I don't know, man. We got, we're kind of getting a, a little bit screwed by the order right now. We need the order of the cards to come out a little bit better. I guess we can start with, well, we can move Maw turn six. Zabu next. So there's two options here. We can uh <laughs> Okay, yeah, I think that's the move and then we put this here. Although I can move a lot too. All right, let's just see how it goes. I, I keep losing these 50 50s here. Keep losing the 50 50. Ugh. Crazy, man. Crazy. If I had flipped the infinite, we won. Lost the 50 50 again. Dang, dude. We do have Cosmo, which is good. Uh, the problem is, how quickly are we going to be able to get him there? We do have priority now, though, right? Perfect. Snap on it, and Cosmo.
Damn, dude. We got War Machine on the last turn. Okay, they ran. Victory. Oh, man. But War Machine on the last turn. That's brutal. That's brutal. Especially, like, because we had so much draw there. <laughs> we, we got so many good cards to draw there. <clears throat> All right, Elysium. I can uh, I can dig it at. We got Ravona. All right, looks like a Thanos deck. Okay, Iron Lad is up now. All right, well, we don't get the draw. Okay. Actually, I, actually you know what? Would have been better to steal Mobius. guys I think we're I think we're kind of screwed if I'm being totally honest I think we're kind of screwed here that might save us but I kind of think just Jeff moves they put Thanos here Jeff is three so they'd be at a uh, 13 then we lose I know, it's frustrating, man. If we had pulled Ebony Maw, if we had pulled Zabu, there's like things we could have done. Ugh. Escaped. But we're just, we're, we're getting pretty bad draws at the moment, unfortunately. Okay. Not bad though. 
We're still above 92. We can go double Zabu, I like that. Okay, I think our next step is double Ravona. Probably one there, not guaranteed, but probably. Could go double war machine here. But I think we're just gonna stick to infinite in ugh. And we're gonna be up two lanes. Um See, now we're kind of screwed. Maybe not. Uh, maybe not. guys Ugh. we lose by this much this much oh man I you know what I kind of regret playing the infinite there uh. yeah Okay, if we get War Machine, we can get around Space Throne. 
But that is kind of a big if. Uh, skip for now. Uh, we have priority. I want to snap. We got War Machine next turn. Well, if it's Galactus, though, that's the only card he can play. So, all right, he ran. <laughs> but yeah, War Machine's been up. Uh, they're working pretty well so far. I dig it. <laughs> okay, Ebony Maw. I guess we can sacrifice him, that's fine. guy might have disconnected. Yeah. Well, he's got a destroy deck. Don't love that. Iron Lad is up. We pulled Black Panther. Wakanda forever. That's pretty good. Oh my god, amazing. Freaking amazing. I 
Thank you very much. All right, awesome. Victory. <clears throat> All right, guys, almost back to ninety three. We are ninety two and climbing. Zabu. Parker! Oh, they've got a Shuri. Interesting. All right, Ravona next. Guess we'll lock down. Uh, if we want to play Infinite, we got to just pass. Do go first. Hmm. Six, eight, nine. We'd have at least nine. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Oh, what a troll. What a troll. Dude. What a troll. <laughs> oh gosh. Really? If we only had priority there, we, we would have won. If we get priority there, we win. We lose to priority. Ugh. All right, guys. I'll be right back. I just need to uh, stretch my legs. I'll be back in two minutes. See ya in just a few. What's up, legends, and welcome to the arcade. I'm your host, Super Bob, and this is Life Changing Video Games. On this channel, we search far and wide for the world's coolest games. Join us for card games like Marvel Snap, because we're always cooking up fun new decks. My chat got me to Legends of Ruin Terra this season, and we climbed all the way to Masters. We've been diving into Season 2 of the Finals, a fantastic FPS that's free to play. We've been generating some absolutely unreal highlights like this. That was sick. That was amazing! Each week, we have a rotating list of games we incorporate, like Bloons TV6, Fallout, Fortnite, Dead by Daylight, Vampire Survivors, and much more. Do you have a game recommendation for us? Send me your suggestions over Discord. I'm on Twitch and YouTube Live between Sunday and Thursday, so make sure you have your notifications turned on. I'm often joined by my two furry dogs, 
Milo and Misa. They're great gaming buddies because they're basically just two big couch potatoes. Click the follow button now to unlock custom emotes for free on Twitch. Or if you'd like to support the channel with a Prime or Tier 1 subscription, you'll get these extra animated emotes on the house. Pretty sweet, huh? Don't forget, just by watching, you'll acquire tokens to use on Twitch rewards that let you engage with my stream in real time. <laughs> there we go. We dropped a falcon punch there. Not sure. Nah. Hey, we got LOR Swamp in the building. Oh, behave. <laughs> I often play my viewers in friendly battles, so don't be afraid to join in. We can also team up together and build a squad. So what are you waiting for? Grab your tokens and let's go. We got some gaming to do. What's up, legends, and welcome to the arcade. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you for being patient and uh, hanging with us for a second. Um, guys, this is the deck we're playing with right now. We're up about uh, six levels on the day. We started at 86, we're at 92. We got Ebony Maw, Zabu, Ravona Renslayer, Rogue, Cosmo, Shang-Chi, Iron Lad, War Machine, Professor X, Black Panther, Odin, and Infinite. Um, our main card here is really, I would say, War Machine. Uh, he's due for an upgrade. Let's give him an upgrade real quick. Alright, anyway. But our, our, our main, uh, I would say, I would say our main card is War Machine. War Machine allows us to get around a lot of different things. Uh, sometimes you have a location that you can't play at. Uh, sometimes Professor X locks down a location and you can't access it. If you're able to get War Machine off with their on reveal, you can play all different locations around the map. We've got Zabu here because uh, along with War Machine, there are a number of four cost cards we want to discount. That allows us, if we want to, on turn six, to play Shang-Chi and one other four cost card. Um, it also allows us to play Ebony Maw on turn six. It also allows us to play Infinite on turn six, uh, even if, even if uh, we played a card the turn before on turn five, uh, if that card is War Machine. So um, that's a little bit about what, what we're playing right now, guys. Like I said, we're up about six levels on the day. Um, we kind of coasted uh, right through Galactic, or sorry, coasted right through Omega. Uh, we're in Galactic right now. We had a little bit more resistance once we got to Galactic, but overall, it's been uh, pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Up next is Ravona. They got Zabu. Oh. All right, we'll stick uh, Maw over there. Stick Cosmo here. They'll probably play at Hope, so at least there's no on reveals. Okay, so no, no uh, discard. Uh, I think we want to go ahead and steal Zabu. Oh, we can't. We can't steal Zabu. So, kind of expect like Modok here. Okay. Yeah, we 
we have priority. It's not going to work. Uh, No, no. Yeah. Okay. Man, it's like every time we lose, it's like one, one point, two points. Ah, tough. Tough, tough, tough. Skip for now. Zabu's uh, pretty good though. Interesting. Ma, I think Ma too, but like, I kind of was thinking here. Is that crazy? Ten, eighteen. We got twenty. We have twenty. We have twenty. I don't know if twenty is enough to win, but that's what we got. What have they discarded? Nothing. <sighs> now they ran. Wow. Victory. After all that, they ran. Okay. Okay, we got Maw, Zabu next. Fall Nets. Is this guy's name? <laughs>
Oh, amazing. Okay, I think we got to snap on that. Okay, play the Black, Black Panther. We are going to win at Raft, and then it comes down to margins, I guess. Um, yeah. Ouch. All right, they win two then. But you're supposed to you 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 return you're supposed to return it to your hand. That's supposed to get returned to your hand. Oh, I guess the oh the Ghost Rider did, but not the. Oh, really? Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Do they they really need to like do something about discard? Discard is insane right now. The ebony blade is so freaking good. Ah. Uh. Oh my god, dude. Discard is so freaking strong. If you have black knight, <sighs> discard is insane right now. We're also drawing so poorly right now. You can see we don't have a, like one, two, three cost cards, nowhere to be seen. Just nowhere to be seen. It's not an ongoing we want to steal. It's got to be Professor X here. All 
systems go. We have priority. Ugh. We always have the worst. Like, dude, we get priority at the worst times. We're tied with them. They easily could have priority, but we get it. We're tied. No, we're up 16. They're up 15. Okay, never mind. Oh, it's just unfortunate. It's just unfortunate, man. Are you probably lose. Worthy? Yeah, probably lose. So all these were two. He played the Zabu. It made all these four cost cards into three. They played the Sarah. These three cost cards became two. I don't know. That was rough, man. Uh, I think we might be wrapping up here soon, guys. I just, I don't know. We had a good run, but like our momentum has definitely dried up a little bit. So, I'm not sure. If you guys want to play, like, friendly battles, let me know. But, I don't know. I I don't want to, like, get too frustrated. We, we, had, we had a good Breaking run here news. today. We, we climbed, uh, like, six levels. So, all in all, I mean, we had a good run. I just... I kind of feel like... Uh, I don't know how much further I'm going to get here today. Terrible location for what I wanted to do. Alright, but that's good. cost card ah they're gonna they're gonna hit us here with the once per game they're gonna hit us with the surfer and then the surfer is gonna win them the game but we can actually possibly get around that with Cosmo that's our best bet.
That's a win. That's a win, baby. Victory. Turn four, really? Uh, turn four with this terrible a draw. That sucks, man. That sucks. Bad timing for everything, man. Bad timing. Uh, it depends on if they have like Carnage, Venom, all that. They might. Cosmo is probably our best bet. I can't play it at, at Nexus, so yeah, I, I lose. I lose. Simple as that. What a game! Jesus. Uh. Dude, TVA sucks. I hate TVA. Uh. What a dumb location. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you guys. TVA, if I could turn it off, I would. Who wants to play a turn four game? Nobody. Nobody enjoys a turn four game. <sighs> like nobody enjoys a turn four game. I, I don't I I really don't understand why it exists. We have priority, so why don't we lock this down? Oh, snap. Uh, they have priority, which is good for us. Black Panther goes to 8 and then 16 at Valley. I uh, should have played uh, War Machine. Should have played War Machine. Wakanda forever!
All right, we'll play Odin here, see what happens. Ah, oh, they ran. Okay. Victory. GG. Stick that there. So that means we're almost certainly going to play War Machine on turn five, I would think. Yeah, draw's kind of killing us. Really? <laughs> Professor X? Yes! Lock it down. I don't know, I have priorities, so I think it's hell up. I think they I don't know. They might win. I'll play for two. Okay, cool. Alright, there it is. Victory. Okay, drop them all. All right, this is definitely reading as like a, either a move or a Phoenix Force. All right, Phoenix Force. Pretty lucky pull, man. Damn. It's a pretty lucky pull. Wakanda forever!
pass for now. He's, he's gonna move it, right? Maybe he moves it here? <sighs> Frick. Chance we pull War Machine. Yeah, Zapu. Not, a, not gonna be enough. So he definitely won here. Um, Zabu's not very helpful. Kind of expect him to move it in Heimdall, but he doesn't have to, he could just keep this here. Are ye worthy? Now, uh, Arnim Zola? Jesus, wow, he's cooking. He is cooking, oh my god. This dude is freaking cooking. This dude is cooking, what? <sighs> if we had pulled Cosmo, he would be on the board. Oh, that's pretty cool. Ventures card back. I like that. I know, dude. Yeah, Zola. Dude, Zola hurts somehow more. What's up, Hunter? Welcome in, man. Uh, is it just me or does like somehow does that somehow hurt more? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start with the bass, the bass here, just because. Um, I guess it makes sense. Card text is disabled. Okay. Okay, we're gonna steal the uh, ability here, and then we're gonna lock it down with Professor X turn five. Uh, is Thanos still good? I mean, Thanos is good, but you should def definitely take a look at the Infinity Stones, because if you look at the balance updates, 
Uh, the stones have changed quite a bit recently. I am Iron Man. Interesting. So, I think we gotta lock this down. Because they might play something... <sighs> Gets us to 10. If they play anything over a 4, we're kind of screwed, but... Let's go for it. And if Cartex is disabled, I wonder if I can play Infinite, but probably not. Oh, crap. Jeff's a five? So he could tie here. Jeff's a six. Wow. Really? Oh, man. C5, huh? R.I.P. <laughs> I love to use Cosmo if enemy... Yeah, has a, a high venom on the field. Yeah, that's true. That is a sign for Zola. Turn seven for Panther. Yeah, the only thing is we're on the final turn. So with magic, you can play her up till turn five. So we're on turn six now, so we can't. Um, so that is a little bit of a dilemma. Jeff's gonna move, but they still have five. This would get a six, but uh, then what? Then what? I think we're just gonna take the retreat on this. I do remember Blob got nerfed hard. Yeah, so Blob now, uh, I believe it's as soon as he gets over 15. I could, I, I forget exactly the number, but I think it's once he once he starts eating stuff and anything over, I think it's 10 or 15, then he stops eating. Um, so that that's different than it was before. Before he used to get up to like 30, 40 um, points and then he would Taskmaster. So Blob definitely got hit pretty good, but I think he's still a good card, um, if, especially if you play like um, like a Thanos deck. I think Blob is still very good. Um, but yeah, all right, that was a little tricky, guys. A little bit tricky. Okay. Sabu turn two feels good. We got Iron Lad here. Ooh, we also have Maw. Let's start with Zabu though. Uh, we are actually gonna go. Ah, uh, well, we have priority. Okay. We're gonna go Cosmo here first, and I think we're gonna snap on it. Snap. Ooh, okay. Victory. Alright, that's a retreat. <laughs> But yeah, so um, I do think Thanos is good. I mean, the Infinity Stones offer a lot of different options. So you get draw with the Infinity Stones. Um, Reality Stone is is pretty good because in in addition to um, you know it only being a one cost, you can change the location. So Reality Stone is like Scarlet Witch. Uh, Mind Stone, I believe, now is a two cost. But you draw two one-cost cards instead of, two, in, instead of two Infinity Stones. So if you're running something like a bounce deck where you have a lot of small cards, it still, it still could be pretty interesting. All right, I'm going to stick Maw there. He doesn't have to know what's there. Uh, Ravona next.
We'll go Iron Lad into Professor X. Okay, let's lock it down so they can't ramp. Uh, well, they're probably pretty much done with the ramp, but... Yeah, okay. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Opponents tapped. Dude, if we get if we get War Machine there. Ah, uh, we could have played right back in here, dropped the Odin last turn. We've seen him bounce a lot. <sighs> kind of expect like maybe Vision or Heimdall or I don't know. I was really danking on War Machine there. We did not get him. Escaped. So Ah oh, man, tough. Tough, tough, tough. Got Ravona next. Meek might win them Luke's bar, to be honest. Dracula. What's up, Liam? Welcome in, man. Uh, we are just wrapping things up here. We got a couple more games left. Um, I don't think this is going to be it, man. I don't think this is going to be it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, who, who, uh, who do you want to recommend, uh, Deviled? Yeah, if they're, if they're online, let me know. Nice. Well, welcome back, man. Oh, is he is he streaming uh, Snap or wh what is he? Oh, of course, of course. I know Panda. Oh, he's doing Marvel Duel. Okay. You know what? That sounds fine. I think we can. I think we can make that work. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, I'm screwed here. Uh, I'm so screwed. Um. Opponent snapped. 
<laughs> Tell my I, I told you to drop by. That sounds perfect. Yeah, no, we can uh, we can give some love here to combat uh, afterwards. That's that's not a problem. I mean, here's the problem. I win here, I lose everywhere else. So let's let's retreat. <laughs> I gotta go back to my girlfriend. <laughs> All right, guys, let's try. I I want to try to get to like maybe like 92, 93. If we can get there, I think that's a good uh, spot to to end it. <laughs> Tell me your girlfriend, the number one chat and streamer says hi. <laughs> um, but yeah, we, we, so this is the deck we played with today, guys. We made some good progress with it. We're going to probably end the day um, up about five or six levels on the day. We didn't quite get to infinite, but... I mean, man, we, we, there were some people really cooking today. Like, there were some people really, really cooking today. Alright, I'm locking down Space Throne. Beautiful. All right, so Space Throne is ours. Uh, let's go Black Panther first. What? Okay, he's got priority. Um, we didn't get Odin. Gosh, dude, my luck sucks today. Uh, no, we lose by two. We might pull Odin. Jeez, I don't know. If we pull Ravona, that's gonna suck. If we pull Infinite, that's gonna suck. If we pull, pull Odin, then that's great. I don't know. Give me Odin, please. No! Dude. Dude. Really? Ugh. Unbelievable, man. Worst luck. Worst luck of all time. Worst RNG of all time. <laughs> uh. Alright, I'm gonna go with Iron Lad next. We might pull uh, Professor X and lock it down. 
every <laughs> worst luck worst luck the worst luck of all time seriously that's insane that's actually insane we po we play iron lad and we pull maw come on that's such bad luck guys Oh man, that's about as bad as you can get it. That's really terrible. That's really terrible. And then we have to play at that location now. But we can't play at the location because the location's locked up. Ugh, every game, they find a way to screw me. We pull War Machine way too late. They pull Infinite though! Holy sh... Wow! Victory! Oh my gosh. Uh, well, we get the one cube. <laughs> I don't know, man. Ups and downs. The thing is, there's, there's so much that's out of your control. There's so much. Like, when you're playing cards like Jubilee, Iron Lad, I mean, there are ways of, like, helping to better determine how things are going to end up, but... Since we have priority, we gotta go Cosmo here, and we'll snap on it. Oh, snap. You know what, I should have played probably two Cosmos, but this guarantees that we stop X-23. go first we can at least do this that should win us the game honestly because then they can't anything they destroy can't go in this lane well unless they put stuff in the lane I don't know oh they ran they ran Victory. okay that's a good win guys But yeah, War Machine's been a lot of fun. I really like this new card. I think, you know, it it, it was f like frustrating for a while to not have options to stuff like um, like some lockdown. You could get away, you could get around it with stuff like Living Tribunal. But I think honestly, for on reveal, War Machine feels like a really nice addition. Um. Okay. My 
minus one power. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to come out here. I'll stick this here. Okay. Death is discarded. We're going to go Iron Lad, and then we're going to go War Machine next turn. Black Cat. Oof. Alright, this might... This might give us just a, a slight lead. Lob is gone. Opponent snapped. My guess is he's probably got Hella, right? If he's snapping. He's probably got Hella, right? He, he, he would play Blob and Death. Twelve plus, let's call it fifteen. Right. I think he probably wins, but Hell, can you understand me? Here's Hella. Minions to me. Really? They got a twenty-one. How lucky is this guy? How lucky is this guy? He pulled it. He pulled, he ate infinite. Wow. <laughs> Guys, I, I, What? That's so lucky, man. All right, you know what, guys? We had a good run. We started at 86. We're finishing the day right around 91. I call that a win. I call that a win. We're not quite at infinite yet, but you know what, guys? I call that a win. Um, we got a recommendation from chat for who to jump in with the raid next. I so, call that a win. So, uh, guys, our next stop is going to be Combat Panda 007. So let me just go ahead and pull up his channel. Uh, he's playing today Marvel Duel, uh, who I know uh, deviled in the chat recommended. Um, at some point, probably next week, we're going to bust it open and give it a try. Um, but guys, thank you so much for hanging out today. Our next uh, destination is going to be here with Combat. Um, Combat is a very talented card player. If you're trying to learn games like Marvel Snap, uh, Legend of Ruin Terra, back in the day DC Duel Force, he plays Gwent. Uh, so he is a big card player. Um, that's going to be our next stop. Hope you guys join me here, jumping in with Raid. Uh, I am Super Bob. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, guys. Had a pleasure hanging out with you guys. I'll catch you guys real soon. Peace. It's just I've been told that women do exist online. I've never met any of them. But apparently that's a thing. Life-changing video games. Welcome in. Welcome to Life-Changing Video Games, viewers. We are playing some Marvel Jewel today. Impossible. Um, so for anyone who, defend, <laughs> uh, for anyone who has not seen this game before, this is a f effectively, I'm just going to hold this aim soldiers for later on. For anyone who's not seen this game before, it is an auto battler that also has a deck building component. So it works very similar to Hearthstone Battlegrounds, 
um, except instead of a shared pool, you play from a pool of cards that is only um, a, a pool of cards that you have built. With the exception of there is a locked deck that you have to use, um, which just fills out your pool a bit. Devil Dead Guide of the Raid has been trying to get me to start playing Marvel Jewel. How do you like it? I love it, man. This is probably my second favorite game at the moment. The my favorite being Gwen. Um, we will take. This is interesting. This I'm gonna want the web snare, but probably not immediately. So we're gonna greed a little bit because we'll get a lot of power out of this Iron Man. We could look to thin the shop a bit. Um. Boom. I think I added to next week's schedule then. All right. So uh, just just as a note, it is a mobile game, and it is not naturally available in. Uh, most locations out of China, even though it's got obviously a full English um, thing. So we're emulating via blue sticks, um, which I've just realized I forgot to turn the ads back on while I was not online. I like to turn the ads on in blue stack if I'm not streaming, so that because obviously they get ad revenue and that keeps blue stacks running. But. Um, So use blue stacks and then hang on, I'm just pulling up a link. That's where you get the APK. And if we change our scene there on the side, basically once you've got blue stacks open, you just install APK. The uh, APK that's been downloaded, uh, you then utilize. So for any viewers in that have come over from life changing videos chat, um, that is how that works. Okay, so I'm going to take Curse Destiny. Because uh, the illusions will work well for us. There's our Loki already. Okay. I should have used the Aim Soldiers to make that cheaper. That was silly. So we're going to play the Aim Soldiers, which reduces the cost there. I need to try and remember to be more descriptive. 